Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another RMA Fire tutorial. And today I want to show you guys how we can mix vellum in Houdini. M when I say mix vellum, it's basically just um, mix vellum constraints. So we're, we're gonna do a very simple uh, setup for starters uh, with that sphere. And let's do a a remesh so that we have we can have triangulated meshes to work with. Uh, let's make this 0 0.05 so we can have more geometry with this transform we're gonna slightly push it upwards and now we're gonna drop down a vellum cloth so after the vellum configure cloth we're gonna do a vellum solver and we're gonna enable the ground and leave the gravity on so enable ground and everything else is set to default Let's go ahead and hit play. And we've got this sphere that falls down. Now, what if we wanted to have what if we wanted to have another different object and have the same vellum constraints? Like if this other object had some completely different parameter or um Sorry about that guys, let me this in silence so for example let's come here and let's just dramatically increase our our stiffness hit play again let's make it even more stiff and hit play again so we've got this cool wobbly ball sphere and now we're gonna do the same sphere but let's transform it on top and let's duplicate actually let's do a new vellum configure cloth And this one we're gonna leave to default. Now if we drop down a vellum solver, copying these parameters, this other sphere is gonna just uh, fall down like this. Now we're gonna delete this and I wanna use both of this with this solver. So here's how we go about it. We're going to merge our initial uh, output which is our vellum geometry. So we want the vellum geometry to be on the same one. And then connect the vellum geometry to the first input. Let's duplicate this and do the same thing with our constraints, which is the second one. And we're gonna duplicate it a third time and we can do the, the, the same thing with the collisions. Now, if we connect both of them. Let's go ahead and hit play. And you will see that this is a very powerful tool because we can we can start to, to do a lot more things with this. You could even drop down a vellum constraints afterwards here. And say for example, you wanted to have pressure or pin to target if you had animation in here or wanted to have pressure. And you could put it here and um, just use the same input connections here, like this. All right, guys, I hope you like this short, quick tip. It has been really useful for me. Hope it is for you as well, and I'll be back with more.